Kabucha tea, you may have heard of it. It's supposed to have a lot of health benefits, but uh, how is it made? We're looking at the science behind. Cultured South is known as Georgia's first kombucha brewery. Melanie Wade is the owner and makes Golda kombucha, a recipe she got from her grandmother, Golda. When I was a kid, she started making this, and when I was in college, she introduced me to it and said, you know, this is really healthy for you, you should get into it, and that's when I started having an interest in it, and I wanted to make it my own. Simply put, kombucha is fermented tea. It's made with tea, sugar, bacteria, and yeast. And yes, I did say bacteria, but it's the good kind, a probiotic, good for your stomach. SCOBY, or Symbiotic Colony of Bacteria and Yeast, is also known as the mother. This is the mother that's kind of floating around in there. It kind of looks like a jellyfish pancake, but don't let that throw you off. It's really good for you, and you, you can't make kombucha without the mother. You can obtain a mother one of three ways. You can buy it, you can get one from someone you know that makes kombucha, or you can grow one yourself by fermenting sweet tea. So the fermentation process is a scientific process. Um, it depends on you know a few different things, time, temperature. When it's hot and it's uh, the middle of summer and this is sitting out on your counter or this is on your porch, it's gonna ferment very quickly, probably within about four to five days. Melanie says that's just the beginning. To get the mother thicker, it should sit closer to 30 days. You would be monitoring the pH. You can use pH strips or a pH reader. And when that pH drops, you're gonna be able to drink it. And it's gonna be a little bit tangy and a little bit acidic, almost like a vinegar, but not completely acidic as, as much as a vinegar. But it, it is gonna be a little bit tart and sour. By itself, it would be tough to drink, so Melanie adds fruits and natural herbs to make it more appealing. It has become so popular, they've begun making other products like cashew cheese and kefir. And we couldn't leave without trying it for ourselves. Strawberry mint. Pretty good. I did. Yes, I did. I tried. Yeah, I tried. In fact, I tried about four different types. Now, okay. the two I have here, of course, one is um, lavender mint mm -hmm. right there, and then the other is like strawberry, uh, strawberry mint and then lavender lemonade. So I think you two have lavender lemonade, you have strawberry mint, give it a shot. Okay. Lavender lemonade. Yeah. Yours looks like Probiotic, beer. Probiotic, supposed to be good for your gut. Good it does for look like gut. a beer. Good for your gut. Yeah. Are we supposed to swirl it and oh, taste uh, it? Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Fran doesn't like it. No. <laughs> okay, the face says. Okay, this is the lavender you said? Is that lavender. This actually tastes pretty decent. Yeah. I drink kombucha, I think, every other day. What flavor? Um, yeah. Uh, green energy uh, okay. is, right. is the flavor, and also um, ginger, what is it called, gingerade. And what I love about it is that it has uh, great properties to break down the fat inside of your belly. So mm -hmm. it's great for your gut, as you mentioned in the story. Mm -hmm. um, Breaks Ooh. down the fat, huh? Yeah, so it's full of uh, probiotics and enzymes, and enzymes really help you break down the fat. Which, is, But I have to warn you, kombucha is not good if it has more than eight grams of or more than three grams yeah, of sugar in it. This is fermented. It could be it have alcohol, but this has uh -huh. way less. So it's, you know, you're able to buy it right over the counter. You can find it in many stores now because it's so popular. What mm. do you think? You too. How do you? Real quick. It kind of, it kind of tastes like a flat beer. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, it's just like kind of, yeah. a watered down. Yeah, I was gonna say like a ginger ale. Like a, no, ginger like a, ale has more flavor than that. Try it for yourselves, Oof. folks. Let us know what you think of kombucha. Let's take a look at your <laughs> forecast for today.